Hi everyone, it's Renny, your host from Renny's World. So today, uh, this look I, I've got from uh, my Instagram profile. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, that is um, someone who is just in late name like Milk1422 something like. Uh, so uh, they put a lot of drawings of this kind of uh, makeup images so of some girls. All those are so amazing. I'm just obsessed with uh, each and every time I just look and oh, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I want to do it. So <clears throat> this time I just do it with you kind of people. I am going to share with you the tutorial that I'm gonna make this look. So this is the picture that I'm gonna make over with this picture and all the time each and every uh, single thing but without eyelashes because I don't like put eyelashes fake eyelashes on my eyes because it uh, give me a smaller eye <clears throat> so that's why I ignore it all the time and uh, many uh, girls who don't like to put uh, eyelashes on their uh, eyes because they don't have much time to go out at the daytime and um, for the quick look just put the mascara twice and ignore the eyelashes if you are not expert so let's do it and make this look so uh, we can see that it has something um, bronzed and warmed look so let's do it and I'll do some other makeup uh, on these photos with some of these drying photos so if you wanna see more then please subscribe and if you like this then please thumbs up and if you wanna see more then please comment on the comment below and let's do it with the makeup at first moisture is time all time favorite aloe vera moisturized gel so I'm going to moisture you can see I am already tan color I have my skin color is tan a bit not that much fair so I think this look sits on me if I want to go out in a quick <coughs> excuse me so I can do it very easily so it's so natural it's a natural makeup always moisture your ear and neck and your chest which part you want to open so done with my moisturizer and now my all-time favorite double call foundation I feel it's a makeup cover so you don't need a concealer or primer it just cover up you fully and you need just a bit quantity of this so I feel for and about the pimple just the quick fixes rub a uh, remedy that is harp it's called that is garlic just rub on your uh, pimple and sleep and the next morning it will uh, you can uh, you will see just reduce 
and within two or three days just rub it and sleep and after when you just wake up in the morning you'll see the result so you can see just a little bit of this dermal call just covering my whole face and always make it wet this is pause with some water that will make you smooth to look make your makeup smooth look to dimples so smooth and finished so well and I put so much cake like baking my face with powders I love to do that because um, the powder absorb your own oils on your face and give you a matte finish look see there's no cakey bakey finish look of your foundation And before makeup, put some um, gel or like petroleum jelly or uh, lip balm on your lips that it moisture your lips. And that wipe up when you start your makeup. Otherwise, the Oil comes up and mix with your all foundation. I'm not a big fan of eyelashes, fake eyelashes, so I won't use fake eyelash. I'll do it with my own eyelashes. All right. So now my foundation is just mix up with my old skin the powder baby powder I love to use it because this is so pigmented good absorb your oil oils just under skin under your eyes chin and bottom of your forehead lip so cakey bakey so on your neck because is the sweating point that some people sweat fast from the neck sorry neck right now they just counter their forehead cheekbones so let's contour but I am using now some um, powder contour just like bronzer not contouring with my cream contour colors it's my palette of contouring So let's 
contour with the dark shade this is the dark shade the darkest shade of this palette you can see right so first this is so easy and so quick makeup you can do it very easily and it will give you a very natural look I'm contouring my foreheads and my cheekbone like they did Sorry. What the hell? Maybe I'm looking like her. Oh, my tiny hairs just don't irritate me. Cover up with your little tiny hairs. That it makes your finish look. And she both looks like her, isn't it? Yeah, so now my cheeks. I have an oval face, so I have to contour this part to make it sharper. I learned contouring when I got me fat. I have double chin because I'm fat. You can see it can give you a sharp chin. How much you make it darker? It can make your chin more sharp. You can see. The difference now the blush there is the light pink color as blush so i'm getting this light pink this is it yes this one this one yeah this one so natural it looks so natural 
with your bronzer I will <laughs> I always pout while I'm just um, contouring and blushing just here to here just here to here all right it looks good and the lighter color that you can come uh, comes of like this way so I'm using the lighter color to give you a better finished look not cakey right so now the eyes already have my contour lenses and it combined with some pink and bronze color like the cheekbones so I'm using the same shades that I've used on my cheeks so with my same palette eyeshadow box open it again. I'm gonna go with some pink shade uh, as transition color so I'm using the same pink color that as my blush Sweet circle motion powder, pink shade. You can see that. Just brush, 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 make it smooth. Yeah, the lens as well. So my pink shade is done. There's some powders already. So after doing this eye makeup, I will be about. Don't worry about that. So now the chocolate shed you can see. So as like my bronzer, I'm using this darker chocolate color. You can see it's quite warm and lighter before. Right. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. So now uh, the corner of this eye is black. So I'm using black. Then again, I'll put brown shade. Corner of black. I love it so much. Do it. So let's mix up. blend it well so the lighter brown part from the corner this is brown too, but it looks pinkish a bit on the camera I don't know why but it's actually brown light brown you can call it chocolate so now mix that another brush There's some gaps, I can see that you can also see or not, I don't know, but there's some gaps, so I'm gonna fill it. The black shit. Oh, it's 
it's all right so close to that look so um in the corner i'm using the white shade to make it lighter you can see the white shade Done. You can see the differences, right? fixing my corn with that white shade yeah does it look like that so now make it more dramatic I'm going to use eye pencil They didn't put that, but they used the eyelashes, but I'm not gonna use that eyelashes, so that's why I put it, and I think it's so beautiful, the shadow color with the pink and black, black and brown, chocolate brown shade. Yeah, I think you should try it, must, because you can see the combination is so beautiful and so natural. Now I'm going to use my white eye pencil, like you can see, they also used white eye pencil. Love to wipe first. On your waterline, it makes your look, I look bigger. in the corner so 
also nail the eyeshadow they also put some brown and black uh, eyeshadows in the outer corner so I'm going to use that too. where's my brush <sighs> there it is sorry so same chocolate eyeshadow I'm putting see the difference and some black Just blend it with the brown and now this eye. white highlighter in the corner of your eyes lighter just that to blend it I'm going to blend it with my sponge brush and my highlighter Because they have a sparkly corner eye, so that's why I use that white eye pencil. Alright, now I'll swipe my time of my powder, my bakey bakey powder. Again, I'm going to put some more powder to wipe them. My nose. That makes 
next pattern just leave it as it is you can see all are finished put my mascaras also on my eyes but first I'm gonna contour my nose brown shade The difference. So I can't like it done. No, that's some mascaras. Another eyebrows time and then just please my previous um, videos and you can see me to fix my eyebrows so so my eyebrows done oh now the highlighting time the highlighter on the tip of my nose but they use <laughs> it's so shiny. Oh my god. I love to use with my hands this highlighter because it's so comfortable. So and use highlighter on this line. Mm -hmm. 
Where you didn't counter. Hmm. Right. And the party. And what's that lipstick color? It's quite nude but glossy with pinkish. So I don't know which one. I have a liquid one, so I'm gonna use it. This is the color, which is Revlon. Um, this is pink velvet cream 423 number. So this Revlon. Quite similar and the white shine I'm gonna use it I don't know um, I'm looking like her or not but it's really beautiful makeup tutorial I'm drawing actually <laughs> not tutorial I don't know you can say that it's beautiful or not on my comment below but I just like it and maybe she has a bun so I'm going to show you with the bun too without eyelashes fake eyelashes you can show yourself more beautiful this is the trick 
that put your mascaras twice and curl it well before uh, using mascara on your eyelashes or you can use some Vaseline too to look bigger eyelashes 